Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do a re-review, not even a re-review, like a, I don't know, like a, a, an update on my feelings on a particular pen, and it is this pen. This is the Wancha Dream Pen, and this is the True Arushi Midori Tamanuri finish. So it's that sort of like browny finish with the green uh, coming through, which is just absolutely beautiful. This pen, I've had it for a couple of years, love it i've been writing with it a lot over that time it's not always inked up it's a pen i don't like to use outside of the house simply because like i think it's actually very beautiful and i really don't want to damage it um and so yeah i i thought like i would do a bit of a review after having you know used this pen for a while and I've, you know just just an update on it if you will so first things first i want to talk about the price the price of these pens has gone up since I got this. When I bought this, it was 350 US. It is now 450 US as a base price. And then with the different upgrades, things like, you know, you can upgrade it to a gold nib for 150 US or an ebonite feed for 30 US, or you can get a roll stop put on it for another $40. All these extra add-ons, very nice, but it does add up to quite an expensive pen. At 450 for a standard cartridge converter pen with a steel nib, you are not paying for the pen. You are paying for the craftsmanship that goes into a pen like this, and it is absolutely stunning. The pen body is made from ebonite, and it is coated with this Arushi lacquer finish, which takes like three months for each pen, and it's multiple layers and polishing. It's a very time-consuming, hands-on process that uh, these artists, and they are absolute artists, you know, go to to make these pens. It's It's quite... Amazing. I'm going to talk about some basic parts and features of the pen and then I'm going to uh, do a writing sample and stuff like that just to sort of, you know, and some pros and cons. Okay, so very, very nice conical end. The cap swells out. There's no clip, no roll stop on this particular version of it. Little step down onto the body of the pen. The body sort of continues along and tapers down to another beautifully, you know, round polished uh, end cone there. It is a screw cap uh, with its very unique, um, very sort of interesting cap liner to keep it airtight where you feel a little bit of a spring and a cushion in it just there <clears throat> you get some big blocky threads which you do feel under your fingers i will say that step down onto those and then step down onto the section which uh, continues down and then flares out and then you get a number six and this is a yovo uh, steel nib branded with wancha and medium on there as you can see um, but what is really lovely is the the fact that you get to see so much of that underlying green of the uh, arushi lacquer uh, in there which is just beautiful I, I i really enjoy that a lot as i said the pen is a cartridge converter pen uh, and you get some metal uh you know threads and everything there uh, and then you get it comes with a converter and this is a schneider branded converter made in germany which i like i think this is actually a very good converter i've never had a problem with it um and the body of the pen is you know beautiful and the threads are all nicely done and it's just a very nicely made beautiful pen the only issue i have with this pen is that it does not post and that's both an issue and not an issue i even if this pen did post and you can kind of get the cap on the end uh, it doesn't stay very well you'd have to really push it on and i don't necessarily want to do that because once again i don't want to damage this beautiful finish and i think over time it probably would as you push that plastic uh, over this beautiful irushi uh, finish which is just so beautifully polished <laughs> because it is so polished it shows up fingerprints and all that kind of thing but it's beautiful nonetheless. Let's do a quick size comparison of it now with the Lamy Safari, just so you get a sense of the size of this pen. And now each of these Wancha pens will be slightly different. The finish will look slightly different. They're all handmade pens and hand, hand and artisanally created. So you are getting a unique pen in that way. You can see it's bigger than the Lamy Safari when it is uh, capped. Uncapped, still bigger than the Lamy Safari. This is a good sized pen. It's got a good girth to it. The body of the pen has great girth and even the section has a nice sort of, you know, pretty decent uh, girth to it as well. And as I said, you won't find me posting uh, the Wancha Dream uh, pen, true Urushi pen uh, because of that beautiful Urushi finish. As I said, this is a slightly bigger pen. Um, it's not super heavy, but it's got a nice weight to it because of uh, all that sort of like lacquer and everything. Heavier than a standard uh, Ebonite pen. Um, but it is 152 millimeters when it is capped. So it's a good sort of size and, you know, so you've got good girth. And then the writing length in the hand is 136 millimeters, uh, which is a very, very comfortable length. Um, and uh, it makes, you don't need to be able to post this pen. I think you'd find it, you'd, most hands would be okay with a pen of this size, and I think the girth of this pen makes it feel very substantial in the hand. And the fact it's got a number six size nib means that uh, you have a good writing distance from the page as well. 
So let's see how it writes. We have the launcher, dream pen, true Urushi, Midori, Tamanori. I hope I'm writing and saying all of those correctly. As I said, this is just with the steel number six medium nib, is what I got it with. And the ink in this today is Pelican Edelstein Moonstone, which I think, I can't remember which year. Tom there's uh, like the yearly special editions from a couple of years ago. Let's do some writing. Beautiful, smooth. It's not the wettest pen. This is also not the wettest ink, um, but it's nice. It's generous. It has a nice line. It's quite a broad medium. Um, it keeps up. There's never never any ink starvation. Um, no hard starts. Nothing like that. Reverse writing. Mm, not the best. Uh, Yovo nibs aren't, necess aren't traditionally the best for reverse writing, and this is a stiff nib, so do not push it. Now, you can get it with other nib options. As I said, there are gold nibs, there's you know a few other things, but it does take a standard Yovo number six, so if you've got any of those um, you know, lying around that you want to try in here that are a little bit different, go for it. Uh, but uh, And also you can get the ebonite feed, so you get a nice sort of flow on those as well. But with the standard plastic feed and this standard Yovo nib, I think it does a really beautiful job. So what are the pros and cons of the Wancho Dream uh, True Urushi Midori Tamanuri pen? Well, the cons. Firstly, I'm just going to mention it here, the price, the price jump. You, Although, with the price, you are paying for the artist's work in making this beautiful finish and the labor and the time that goes into that. So it's something to take to be aware of. And also this, there can be a wait time. They they Because they ha they, they're not mass produced, you might have to wait to get your pen. Um, sometimes they announce the next month's releases ahead. Keep an eye out for that. The other thing I don't love is the squeak when you uh, screw this pen. That's that cap liner crunching on the on the uh, like the springs in it. It's just a noise I don't love, um, but. It's something that uh, I, I'm okay with because I know that what it does is it seals the pen very, very well. So that's also a very big pro. Okay, firstly, pros of this pen, the design and the size. It's beautiful, it's simple, it's no frills in terms of like the shape and all that. It's a cigar shaped pen without a clip, no roll stop. It's gonna be a deal breaker for some people, although you can get a roll stop put on. Uh, but it is simple and beautiful and it's a great size in the hand. I love this finish. So this uh, finish, the uh, Midori Tamanori finish, is this brown and sort of green uh, finish. And there's a number of different finishes you can get on this pen. Uh, so keep an eye out for one that you love. And in a way, it's that is what you're paying for. You are paying for this beautiful finish on the pen, this Arushi finish. And it does write very, very well, of course. Also, want to package their pens in a beautiful way. I couldn't put my hand on the packaging when I went to film this, so um, you can watch the original review, which I'll link down below, to see how it comes packaged. Uh, but it is just a beautiful, beautiful pen, and the packaging is matches that beautifully. They do it so, so well. Um, but the biggest pro with this pen for me is the fact that it's just such a great writer. It is reliable. Every time I uncap this pen and I go to write, it just writes. There's no hard starts. There's no, um, there's no, you know, skipping. There's no, you know, <laughs> ink starvation, nothing. It just keeps up and writes so beautifully. And a big part of that is the fact that it's got a decent Yovo nib on it and Yovo plastic bead and a good converter and all that. Like the inner guts, the chunks, you know, the, those, those bits of the pen, that is what makes it a great writer. So I love 
the consistency of this pen. The other thing I love is that it is a very comfortable writer. I can write with this pen for long periods because it's consistent and it writes well, and it writes, you know, just wet enough to feel nice on the page, but also the size and the weight of this pen, it you, you kind of lose it in your hand in terms of the weight, and the size just keeps it feeling very, very comfortable. You don't have to pinch down, you don't have to like, you're not feeling like you're holding, you know, anything that's too big. It's in a, it's in a Goldilocks zone for me in terms of the size, which I really, really enjoy. So, as I said, I've had this pen for a couple of years. I've been using it for a couple of years. Um, I choose when I make these videos to not go back and look at my original review because I want what I say now to be informed by the years of use as opposed to, like when I do a normal review, it's anything from like three to six weeks of using the pen. Um, and, uh, you know, so having a couple of years, it's just a, you know, it's nice to sort of look at it again and see what actually, you know, you enjoy and, you know, and have a bit more sort of, um, a bit more to say perhaps. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and useful. Please like and subscribe. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. Please drop comments below, drop, ask questions, all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to support the channel, please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.